بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله والسلام عليه أما بعد يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سليلا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يتع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وأحسن الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر أمور محنثاتها وكل محنثة مدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار ثم أما بعد يا عباد الله عن أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من نفس عن مؤمن من نفس عن مؤمن كربة من كرب الدنيا نفس الله عنه كربة من كرب اليوم القيامة ومن يسر على معسل يسر الله عليه في الدنيا والآخرة ومن ستر مسلما ستره الله في الدنيا والآخرة والله في عون العبد ما كان العبد في عون أخيه ومن سلك طريقا ينتمس فيه علما سهل الله له به طريقا إلى الجنة وما اجتمع قوم في بيت من بيوت الله يتلون كتاب الله ويتدارسونه بينهم إلا نزلت عليهم السكينة وغشيتهم الرحمة وحفتهم الملائكة وذكرهم الله في من عنده ومن بطأ به عمله لم يصرع به نسبه حديث صحيح رواه مسلم عن يطور تيب أبو هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه he said that the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم he said whoever alleviates from a believer a difficulty from the difficulties of the dunya then Allah will, will alleviate from him and remove from him a difficulty from the difficulties of the day of judgment whoever removes alleviates a difficulty from a believer then Allah from the difficulties of the dunya Whoever alleviates a difficulty from a believer, from the difficulties of the dunya, then Allah will alleviate from him a difficulty from the difficulties of the day of judgment, Yomul Qiyamah. And whoever makes it easy upon someone who is in debt, whoever makes it easy and or alleviates someone who is in debt, that Allah would make it easy upon them and alleviate upon them in, in this world and in the next, in the dunya and in the akhirah, in this world and in the next. And whoever hides, he screams, 
a Muslim. Whoever hides, meaning he hides the fault, he screens the fault of a Muslim, then Allah will screen him and hide his faults in the dunya and in the akhirah. And Allah, He will aid a slave as long as that slave is aiding his brother. And whoever takes a path seeking therein knowledge, then Allah will make it easy for that person by way of it, a path to Jannah. And never has a people come together inside of a house from the houses of Allah, reciting the Qur'an, reciting the book of Allah, meaning the Qur'an, and studying it amongst themselves, except that there descends upon them the tranquility. And they are surrounded or they are enveloped in mercy. And the angels surround them. And Allah mentions them with those who are with Him. Meaning those angels that are that are high, Allah Ta'ala, He mentions those groups of people to those angels. And whoever is slowed down by his actions, whoever his actions are a little bit, and he is slowed down as relates to righteous good deeds, and he only has a little bit of righteous good deeds, then he will not be hastened due to his lineage. He will not be hastened and or availed due to his lineage. This hadith is a hadith that is tremendous, bila shak wa bila ra'il. And it's from the jawab and killing of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa The many benefits that are contained therein. Bindillahi ta'ala, we would like to look at some of these benefits that are contained inside of this hadith, sentence by sentence. Qala al-allama shaykh salih al-fawzan ahmedhullah ta'ala, al-wajibu alayk, that it is incumbent upon you, it is mandatory upon you, and to tawsifu bihadhi al-sifat al-hamida, that you adorn yourself with these praiseworthy traits and characteristics, these praiseworthy traits and characteristics that are mentioned inside of this hadith. It is wajib, it is incumbent upon every one of us that we strive to implement and to adorn ourselves with these outstanding traits and characteristics. The first of them is as it comes in the first sentence of this hadith, and that is the statement of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam: "Man nafasa an mu'min qurbatan min qurb al-dunya nafasa Allahu anhu qurbatan min qurb al-yom al-qiyama min qurb al-yom al-qiyama." That whoever alleviates and he removes from a believer a difficulty from the difficulties of this world, that Allah will remove from him. A difficulty from the difficulties of Yom Al Qiyamah, the day of standing, meaning the day of judgment, Yom Al Qiyamah. قال العلامة شيخ صالح الفوزان تنفيس قربة عن أخيك to remove a difficulty from your brother. And you see, this is what it or is from what it means to have brotherly love and sisterly love and how brothers and sisters should be interacting and treating and dealing with one another. So whoever removes from his brother or from his sister a difficulty, if your brother, and we add, or your sister will fall into a difficulty, any type of difficulty, the shaykh he mentions, min malin, awaiting, and they fall into a difficulty, whether that difficulty is financial, or other than that, فَإِنَّكَ تُنَفِّسُ عَيْنُ Then you should try your best to remove it from them, to alleviate them, to help them. وَتَنْفِيسْ تَوْسِعَ And the alleviation, it means that you make it open for them. You grant them some relief as relates to that particular issue. A, yani, to alayhi, to make it open for him, or to alleviate, or to widen up for him. Al-Dariqah, al 
to make it open for him the what? The financial restrictions. Those things that are restricting him financially that you open it up for him. You give him some breathing room. You alleviate that difficulty, that tight bind that he or she may be in. And this is by a number of ways. The Shaykh Hamidullah Ta'ala, he mentions بِأَن تُقْرِضَهُ Either that you give him a loan. Maybe you don't have a financial situation that allows you to give it to him or to give it to her to alleviate that financial restrictedness. So you give them a loan. Maybe you can give them a loan. Now you have some funds that you don't need immediately. But you may need it back in a few weeks or a month or so. So you loan it to them for that time period so that you may leave the financial difficulty that they are in today. The Shaykh he says, oh, Or that you give him charity. You give it to him. Maybe you are in a financial standing that you don't need that, so you give it away. You give it to him or you give it to her to remove that financial difficulty. This is an example. The Shaykh he mentions, he says, and as relates to the, the restrictedness and the tight binds that are not related to financial or economical restrictions or, or binds or tight situations that a brother or sister that they going into from hard times, difficulties. Like for example, if they have some worry or some anxiety there are things that are worrying them, they're troubling them, they're on their mind, they're plaguing them. You see that they're anxious about them and they're worrying about them. So the signs of worry, the signs of anxiety can be seen upon their person. The signs of sadness can be seen inside of their face. The signs of sadness and, 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 and that can be, can, can be seen in their disposition. Fatuyasir. Aw. فَتُسَرِّي نعم فَتُسَرِّي عَنْهُ وَتُفْرِجُهُ وَتُدْخِلُ السُّرُورِ عَلَيْهِ Then you should try your best to what? To bring him joy to lighten the mood to help him and to bring some success to try to bring success to him or to cheer, to cheer him up for lack of a better term to try your best to cheer them up if you see they're going through something that is difficult and it's plaguing their mind, then it doesn't behoove you to ask them about it, to interrogate them about it, 20 questions about what they're going through because you know this is going to what? To add to their distress. So try to lighten the mood by whatever means is necessary and by whatever means is appropriate in that situation. From the halal, of course. By changing the subject, saying to them a kind and a gentle word that will make them smile, whatever the case may be, to try to what to cheer them up, to try to cheer them up as best you can. This is how brothers and sisters are supposed to be. Not like those shayateen that will come inside of the, uh, uh, what would you say? They will come as if they're trying to cheer you up. When the only thing that they're really trying to do is bring you down. What's going on? Well, why is it like this? Well, couldn't you have done that? What did you think about this? Did you ponder that? And so on and so forth. Dwelling and, 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 and keep asking and keep getting badgering them about this and that and that. As if you're trying to give advice when the only thing you're trying to do is what? It's to be nosy and to get information from them. And to, as they say proverbially, pour salt inside of the room. Pour salt inside of the womb. Rub it in. But why didn't you think about that before this? Why didn't you consider that? Why didn't you want to? To what? You're just making them feel worse. You're making them feel bad. As if they didn't think about that. As if they didn't contemplate about that. As if they didn't, con as if they didn't ponder upon that. This is not how a brother or sister is supposed to be. If you see this play, then you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't deal with it. You don't get into it. An example of this can be seen as, as, the, as the Sahabiyat as they treated our mother Aisha رضي الله تعالى عنها وأرضاها with the great lie and slander was launched against her 
with the great lie and slander was lost against her. They didn't come to her and say, hey, did you hear what the people are saying now? Hey, did you, hey what did so-and-so say? What did you hear about what was going on? They didn't come and mention the fitness to her because they knew she was already in distress. She was crying and crying and crying so much. So what did they do? They came and they just cried with her. They didn't mention nothing to her. They just cried with her. You have people now, they know that their brother or their sister is inside of a fitna, inside of a difficult situation. What did they do? They want to come and talk about it. Hey, ah, you see what they said now? Hey, what, what, what has reached you for what they have said? Hey, did you see what they put on Twitter? Hey, did you see what was on Facebook? Hey, did you hear about this? Hey, did you see that? This is what you think is going to make the person feel better? Maybe it's something they didn't hear about. Now you bring it to them, you act to distress, and you act and making it seem like, but I'm down with you, I'm, I'm with you. Yes, I Making them feel worse. We should be trying to make people feel better. Naam. Ala kulli hadha, Shaykh, he says, فَإِذَا فَعَلْتَ ذَلِكَ If you were to do this and to act in this manner to help to alleviate a difficulty or problem that your brother and your sister they have fallen into, the Shaykh says, and if you have done that, نَحْفَسَ اللَّهُ عَيْنْكَ قُرْبَةً مِنْ قُرْبِ الْيَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةً And if you were to do that, then Allah will alleviate from you a difficulty from the difficulties of Yawm Al-Qiyamah. Then Allah will alleviate from you a difficulty from the difficulties of Yawm Al-Qiyamah. لِأَنَّ الْجَزَاءَ مِنْ جِنْسِ الْعَمَلِ Because the actions or the reward will be appropriate to the action. You help, your, you help alleviate from your brother or your sister a difficulty from this dunya, then Allah will alleviate from you a difficulty from the difficulties of the Day of Judgment. The he says, because you're going to fall into some difficulty Yawm Al-Qiyamah. You're going to fall into a difficulty Yawm Al-Qiyamah. فَإِذَا كُنْتَ فِي الدُّنْيَا فَإِذَا كُنْتَ فِي الدُّنْيَا So when you're in the dunya, huh? Wa Wa Nafasta Al Akhik Nafasa Allahu Anka Yawm Al Qiyama Wa Wasa Alak Since you're in the dunya or when you were in the dunya and you made it easy you alleviate it for your brother or from your sister a problem or that which they have fallen into from difficulty then Allah will alleviate from you a difficulty Yawm Al-Qiyamah and He will make it easy upon you and remove a restrictfulness that may uh, yani, uh, plague you from an uh, issue Yawm Al-Qiyamah so if you want relief from the difficulties of Yawm Al-Qiyamah they hope to alleviate and to relieve the difficulties from your brothers and from your sisters inside of this dunya. Don't just come to them and saying, oh, you see this, you see that, but come to them what? Because you're trying to help alleviate the situation, not trying to be nosy, not trying to rub it in, but you're coming and you're speaking about that which needs to be spoken about so that the situation can be alleviated, so that islah, rectification, it can come about, and not just from those who are talking just for the sake of talking, because this does nothing but add pain to those who are going through what they are going through. So be mindful, ya ibad, as relates to this. Be mindful, ya ibad, as relates to this. Be mindful, as relates to this. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum astaghfiru fa inna hu huwa ghafur rahim. Bismillah alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in wa man tamasaka bi sunnatihi ila yawm al-deen thumma amma ba'd the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he goes on to say in the next sentence of this hadith wa man yassara ala mu'asilin yassara allahu alayhi fi al-dunya wa al-akhirah the Shaykh he says, the Shaykh Fawzan, Ahmedullah Ta'ala, he says, كَذَلِكَ الْمُعْسِرِ He said, likewise the Mu'asir, وَهُوَ الَّذِي عَلَيْهِ دَيْنٌ And he is the one who has upon him a debt. 
The mu'asir, he is the one who has upon him a debt. He's indebted to someone. He owes someone a debt. لا يستطيع سدادة And he can't pay it off. He owes someone a debt, but he doesn't have the financial means to alleviate and to fulfill the debt and to pay it off. فَإِنْ كَانَ دَيْنْ لَكَ If you are the one who he's indebted to, if you are the one who he owes the money to, then you have a few options as to how you can help him. The Shaykh Allah Ta'ala, he says, فَإِنَّكَ إِمَّا أَنْ تُنْذِرَهُ إِلَى وَقْتِ الْآخِرِ إِلَى وَقْتِ الْآخِرِ He said, either you can let it go, give him more time, you can extend the time frame in which he has to pay you back, وَإِمَّا أَنْ تُسْقِطَ عَنْهُ الدَّيْنِ Or you can alleviate the dain, or you can alleviate the debt from him. You can tell him, you know what? Don't worry about it. I'll take care of you. Don't owe me nothing no more. You can alleviate the, the debt from him. قال الله تعالى الله تعالى says وَإِنْ كَانَ ذُو عُسْرَةٍ فَنَظِرَةٌ إِلَى مَيْسَرَةٍ وَأَنْ تَصَدَّقُوا خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says and if the one who's in debt is in a hard time if the one who is in debt he is in a hard time in paying it back why? because he has no money Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says what means then grant him some ease huh? and give him more time so he can pay it off grant him some ease huh? to repay you meaning extend it to him make it easier for him to repay you to pay you back if he's paying you in installments and you see the installments are too much for him then break the installments down say give me half of that and we'll just yani, extend the time period no problem without any increase Naam. Because to increase, then this will be what? Riba, riba's haram. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says what translated means, but if you were to give to Him charity, if you were to give to Him charity, meaning if you were to alleviate the debt from Him, if you were to tell Him to worry about it, you don't have to pay me back no more. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ It is better for you. It is better for you only if you but know. If you were to alleviate his debt and tell him you don't have to pay me back no more, then this is better for you only if you but know. So Shaykh Fawzan Ta'ala says, فَإِمَّا أَن تُنْذِرَهُ إِلَىٰ أَجْرٍ آخر بِدُونَ أَن تَزِيدَ عَلَيْهِ أَن تُزِيدَ عَلَيْهِ He said either you could extend for him the time frame, give him another time frame later on without increasing upon him, وَإِمَّا أَن تُسْقِطَ عَنْهُ الدَّيْنِ Or you can alleviate from him the debt. وَهَذَا أَحْسَنْ And this is better. To just let the debt go and to alleviate him from the debt and to free him from the debt. وَهُوَ مِنْ تَيَسِّرْ أَوْ مِنْ تَيْسِيرْ وَهُوَ مِنْ تَيْسِيرْ عَلَى مُعْسِرْ And this is from being easy upon the one who is in debt. وَهَذَا إِذَا كَانَ الدَّيْنِ لَكْ And this is if the debt is owed to you. وَأَمَّا إِذَا كَانَ الدَّيْنِ لِغَيْرِكِ But if the debt, if he owes the debt to someone else, if he's in debt to someone else, he owes the debt to someone else, the shaykh, he says, فَمِنْ تَيْسِيرْ فَمِنْ تَيْسِيرْ عَلَيْهِ أَن تُسَاعِدَهُ بِمَا يُسَدِّدُ دَيْنَ Then it is from alleviation and making it easy upon him to pay off the debt for him. If you have the financial means to pay his debt off for him, then this is the first thing you want to look at. This is the first option you want to explore. Do I have the financial means to alleviate my brother's debt? To pay it off for him? That's the first thing you want to look at. Ma'am? And if you have the financial means and ability to do that, then pay off the debt for the brother, pay off the debt for the sister. Now, this is from what it means to be a good Muslim. This is from what it means to be a good brother or a good sister. But sometimes we may not have the financial means to fully pay off the debt. So the Shaykh says, Aw, you anhu, or you lighten it for them. Because maybe you can't pay it all off. Maybe they owe $10, for example, and you only have $5 to give towards that. 
You can't pay it all, the whole 10. So then what do you do in that situation? You pay five, you pay half of it. Now, to make it easy upon the brother, or to make it easy upon the sister. This is how we are to be as Muslims. When we look at these first two sentences in which the, the Prophet Sallallahu he mentioned, we find in it the overwhelming concern that the Muslims should have for each other. We find in it the overwhelming concern and the willingness and the readiness to be generous that every Muslim should have with him from these characteristics. Is we should always be looking to give to those whom we can give to whatever extent we have the ability to give. Damn. And this is why you see that it's not just you take care of all of it, but what? You also have the option or you do some of it. If you can't do it all, then do some of it. But taqullah mastata'atun. Fear Allah to the best of your ability. Do what you can. Do the best that you can. If the best that you can do is only a little bit, then do just a little bit. Because the reality of it is that what? If everybody had it in their mind, and everybody had this mentality in their mind, and all of us gave a little bit, then situations will be handled left and right. Right? Situations will be handled left and right. Because when you put pennies together, they equal dollars. When you put dollars together, then, then you get what? Hundreds, and so on and so forth. Everyone does what he can. But it has to be coming from a people that has the mentality of always wanting to what? To enrich their environment by, at, by every means at their disposal. By every means at their disposal. You're trying to enrich your environment. If the Muslims, all of us, had this mentality, now, if we all had this mentality, Think about the dawah that will be with and within itself. If all of us had this mentality, if all of us made sure that we were taking care of our brothers and our sisters, with them within itself, not to mention the extras that we were able to do to others, from the kuffar, to be generous to them and so on and so forth as a means of dawah. But just think about if we were taking care of our own communities, how great of a dower that would be for the kuffar looking in. Do you see how the Muslims treat each other? Do you see how they take care of each other? Do you see the concern they have for each other? Do you see how they're always worrying about each other? Do you see getting to the extent and the enthusiasm they have to try to take care of each other? That within itself would turn many heads to want to learn more about Islam. That within itself will turn many heads to want to learn more about the deen of Al-Islam. But is this our reality? Not SF. Is this our reality? Not SF. Unfortunately, regrettably, this is not our reality. So you have those who are rich and they don't want to give this account. You have those who are rich and they don't want to spend what is obligated upon them to spend, let alone a tabarwaat, let alone giving out for so the God is for the soul. They don't want to they don't want to give the extras. They don't want to give what's obligatory. How are they gonna give extra? Yes, sir. This was not how the Sahaba they were. They were taking care of one another. They were concerned with one another. If you have people in the community going to bed hungry, getting utilities turned off, and so on and so forth. This is a tragedy. This means that we have failed as a community. When you have people in the community that are on the brink of being homeless, that are living without electricity, don't have the water, the water's been cut off, and so on and so forth, then this is what this shows a deficiency within us as a community. When you have people who feel shy of even mentioning the plight that they're in because of the reception that they may get when mentioning the plight that they're in, then this shows you what the weakness and deficiency within the community. Because we as brothers should feel open, we should have relationships with one another that is open enough, that is sincere enough, that is loving enough, that is kind enough, that if we're going through something that we feel comfortable going to our brothers and our sisters saying, this is what I'm going through. This is what I'm going through. Because all of us are going to go through it from time to time. Maybe not the exact same thing. Maybe not to the exact same extent. But 
all of us at one point may be on the receiving end. So we should have no problem being on the giving end. Because today we give, tomorrow we may receive. Something may happen, we may need. So we should try, ya ibad, to foster a sense and a feel and an atmosphere of true brotherhood, true sisterhood, on every level, on every level, so that we feel comfortable with one another, so that we feel comfortable with one another, so that we are aware of one another. We have to know one another, so that you be able to sense just from the disposition of your brother that something's not normal, something's not right. But the only way to do that is that you have to know what his normal disposition means. You have to what? You have to get to know him. Yes, Salam. We live in a situation right now, and I blame myself too. I blame myself not to. First and foremost, I blame myself first. Look, look around, brother. Look to your right. Look to your left. You got brothers in here. You don't even know their name. So how you gonna know this situation? How you gonna know to know that that's a sad face that he's wearing right now? How you gonna know enough to know that this brother, he's in distress right now? How you gonna know enough to know to go and to bring the food because his wife just had a baby or even that his wife is pregnant when you don't even know his name, let alone where he lives, let alone what he's going through. So we have to be better. Really, shame on us. We have to be better. Let us contemplate over the likes. Of these narrations of the Prophet Sallallahu Let us strive to adorn ourselves with these characteristics So that we are loving, we are caring huh? We have concern for our brothers and for our sisters And that we have true sense of brotherhood And true sense of community Calling each other to that which is right Helping each other upon that which is right Forbidding one another from that which is wrong And discouraging one another from doing that which is wrong Helping one another to do that which Allah loves and that which Allah is pleased with. Ibad, contemplate on the likes of this and let us all strive with our actions. Let us all strive sincerely for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to alleviate these deficiencies that we find. Hada Faqimu Salah.